Hello, everyone. Today I come to you just outside our sanctuary in our narthex area, beside our All Saints Tree of Life. Again, thanks to Ann Farini for helping to design this and for our use this year, as we again approach All Saints Sunday, which will be November 7th. It is a time in the church here in which we remember our loved ones who have gone before us. During our All Saints Sunday worship service, we remember those loved ones who are members of CRLC who have died in the past 12 months. But the Tree of Life is for any of our loved ones that we would like to recall at this time of the year for All Saints Sunday. And so we have a leaf in which you can write your name of that loved one who has influenced you, write it down and put it on the tree. If you are not yet back for in-person worship but would like to have a name lifted up, simply email the church office and we will complete one for you. Also, the Sunday leading up to All Saints Sunday each year is Reformation Sunday, which this year will occur on Halloween Day, the actual day of Reformation, October 31st. And on that Sunday, we'll be celebrating the affirmation of baptism, the confirmation of two of our youth. Other things are happening as we move toward the end of this calendar year, including preparations for our annual meeting that will take place on November 21st following uh, the second service. At that meeting, we will have a proposed budget as well as a uh, nomination for elections for positions of church leadership. We are also want to thank everyone who participated this last week in Rise Against Hunger program as together we are able to package all those meals. It is a great event. Even under pandemic this year, we're able to get together and do it. My thanks to all those who are involved who do the many and various things behind the scenes so that this event can be pulled off with such great success. As we now look toward the holiday season, I wanted to say to you we will have in-person midweek Advent services back restored after not having them last year. We will have an online component as well, again using Holden Evening Prayer as a basis for a way to sort of step back from all the busyness that Advent and Christmas often bring to focus on that reason for the season. Hopefully other things are going well for you and you're enjoying some of these beautiful, nice fall days. And as always, in the meantime, take care, dear church. <laughs>